those of you that know me know that I'm from the town of San Angelo and uh, grew up there on the banks of the Concho River. But I spent a lot of my time in a little town just outside of San Angelo called Cristobal, which is where my grandpa lived. And uh, grandpa had horses. I'd go out there every day, feed the horses, ride them, hang out with grandpa till mom and dad got off work and then they'd come pick me up, take me home. But I'd spend my summer days out there with my grandpa a lot of times and, and uh, hanging out with the horses. Well, there in Cristobal, they had this man named Chester Seymour. Chester Seymour was, for Cristobal, the town drunk. And uh, they only had one because that was, that was all they could afford, was Chester. So his thing was, he would sit there in front of the volunteer fire department all day with a big old tall quart of moonshine and he'd sip on that moonshine and he would whittle with this old timer knife. He had this old timer knife that he kept sharp. He, he would bring a wet stone and a pe old piece of belt. And if that knife ever got dull, he would sharpen it right up because he would spend his days sipping on that moonshine and whittling a pine, bo pine board and he wasn't happy if he couldn't, if that knife wasn't sharp enough that he would roll. This little sliver of pine would just roll up the full length of that board. And if that knife wasn't sharp enough to do that, he wasn't happy. And he'd sharpen it up some more. But he, that's what he did. He drinking shine and curling pine. Well, one day we're out, he was out there drinking shine and curling pine. And this June bug came by and started buzzing around his face. Well, Chester went to swat at that June bug to get it out of his face, and that dadgum sharp knife went and hit his ear and cut off the top of his ear. And it fell down there on the sidewalk. Well, you know, everybody knows that you do something like that, you, if you get that ear, get in on into the hospital, sometimes they can reattach it, sew it back on, everything be okay. So Chester picked up part of his ear and was starting to go, but the problem was he wasn't finished drinking the moonshine. But he needed something to preserve that ear, and well, he, he still had about two inches of moonshine in that cork, and there was the ear, what the heck? You just drop that ear in that moonshine. Let that moonshine preserve it. But he was still thirsty, and, you know, he could take a little sip. Just as long as there was enough moonshine in that court to cover that ear, everything be all right. Well, he got to sipping on that shine, still carrying in the pine. And right as he went to take a sip of that shine, that dead gum June bug came back and tried to crawl up his nose. And he <laughs> took a big old snort like that. And he ended up swallowing his ear. Now, the moral of this story is that next time somebody tells you a June bug won't hurt you, don't you believe it? <laughs>